Hello and welcome to a new episode of Houston We Have a Problem. Look, I wanted to continue presenting the Outer Planets Wikipedia style. I'm happy you like it and I'm sure I will continue that series. But I got a bit of a crisis here currently. I realized now that what I'm doing just presenting a ton of facts is something that is kind of useless. Why? Because all of the information is freely available. You could go on Wikipedia and read through endless facts of Jupiter. But you will only start to do so if interested in the topic. And this is what it is all about, igniting a fire, making you look at the world like you did not before. I think this is what you appreciated with star size comparison, showing relations while telling a kind of a story. You certainly found the graphics awesome, you enjoyed the music and it made you think about your place in the universe. Recently I spent some time working on a few things and I'm incredibly happy that one of them got finally released. More about this in the end. So what I want to do now and in future videos is to involve you a bit in my thought process when comparing things. And I want to start from scratch. Because when the aim is to make people grasp things, you will see in astronomy it is easy to fail from the beginning. So there is this basic unit in astronomy, a light year. The distance that light can travel in one year. I'm sure that you will know that the next star to the sun is about 4 light years away. Our galaxy is about 100,000 light years across. And the next galaxy is 2.5 million light years away. The diameter of the observable universe is 93 billion light years. Ooh, that's pretty far, isn't it? You will say, sure, I get it. But no, this is highly unlikely. Probably nobody can. Why? Because our brains are just not built that way. We can grasp things like on my nose, an arm's length away, over there, a day's walk or maybe the distance of the mountains on the horizon. Apart from longer hikes, we are kind of unable to have a proper feeling of distance. All other distances are a bit warped already in our minds. Places you consider around the corner as you could reach them in 15 minutes with your car actually require a whole day of hiking. When going by plane, even distances between countries shrink into oblivion. Nowadays you could have an online game with somebody on the other side of the planet and feel like he could quickly drop by for a coffee if he wanted. This planet is already larger than you could grasp. Away from it we are totally lost. Some people think this is about the distance of the moon and the earth. But it is actually that far. The few people who traveled there went 15 times faster than a bullet. Yet it took them three days to get there. Nothing in between. Our hopes of properly grasping this distance are already slim here. Sure, you could try to compare it to other distances, you know. For example, let's say the distance to the moon would be the size of a football field. Then the earth would be the size of a small car and the moon about the size of a large exercise ball. Fine. Now let's do the same with the light year. We would need the longest distance you could still have a chance to grasp. So let's take two places on earth, two cities. So what is the greatest distance between any two cities on earth? According to a website I linked in the description that uses the proper formula, we should start here, in the city of Xinhua in China. Let's say a human could walk constantly 20 kilometers or 12 miles per day. This is the journey he would have to do to get to the furthest city from here. When reaching the beach on the Ivory Coast after nearly two years of walking, he can make a pause, waiting for a ship that will bring him in only six days across the South Atlantic Ocean. And you will probably wonder now if somebody ever did a walking journey like that before. Meet George Megan. This was his route and it took him nearly seven years and 12 pairs of hiking boots from 1977 to 1983. He is one of the few people who could imagine the distance that we are talking about. So after a relaxing six day trip of 6000 kilometers or 3700 miles across the ocean, we arrive in Brazil. After another 38 days, he reaches Uruguay. 
after 52 days Argentina and a bit over a week more and a travel time of two years we reached the city of Rosario which is the city furthest away from Xinhua and you will not find two cities on earth that are further apart. Their distance is 19,996 kilometers or 12,425 miles. If this would be one light year, this would be the size of the earth. Try to make yourself aware that the journey we just did through all the countries was a quarter of the distance to the next star, if the earth was this size. So considering these vast distances in space, you might ask yourself how it was possible that in my star size comparison movies, we could zoom from moon size to the end of the universe in a few minutes, or as in the vortex, doing that smoothly starting from the tiniest particle. This is only possible because speed is an exponential function here. Each next step is a multiple of the speed of the previous step. So now finally I'm proud to be able to present to you something where you can do that interactively in 3D space with your finger. I've been a part of this project over the last years and basically this neat little app should be a bit like the original star size comparison. We have the famous line along which we increase the size of the objects from a tabletop to the end of the observable universe. It is available right now for Android and iOS. With your purchase you would directly support the channel and continuous development of future products. I hope you will like it and I'm very curious about your feedback and suggestions. I will give away free downloads to my Patreon supporters for as long as I got them in stock. So if you ever thought about supporting the channel, maybe now is the time. However you decide, stay tuned for my visual experiments trying to grasp the universe. Because I'm Mon1415 and the real world is incredible.